Hello and welcome to my classroom. So, the almost last video about focus mode on my iPhone got an insane amount of views. Well, at least for me, it's insane. And I got a lot of DMs and comments to show you how you can set up your phone the same way so it does not ruin your life. Let's not waste any time and jump right in. Okay, so let's go over what you need. First things first, you need an obviously an iPhone that runs on iOS 13 or newer. And I don't think that would be a problem. And the second thing you need is app called Shortcuts to be able to turn on and off focus modes from your home screen without entering the control center. Now that we have everything we need, we can move on to setting up focus modes. So to create new focus mode, you need to go to the control center and open focus tab. Then at the bottom of the screen, you will see new focus button. Once you click on that, you can start setting up your focus mode. Pick a name, color, emojis, etc. On the next page, go to customize focus and here is where all the magic happens. You can pick from which contacts you can receive notifications. Personally, for my flow focus, I can only receive notifications from my family and nothing else. Right next to that, we can choose from which apps we can receive notifications. And in all focuses, I don't allow any apps to send me notifications except my email. Once you choose that, go back to home screen and repeat the process for all of the focus modes you want to use. And now the last thing to set up in focus modes is lock and home screen. As you saw in my last video about the focus modes, every time I change the focus, the background also changes. To do this, you need to close your phone and go to the lock screen, do a long press and add new wallpaper. Choose any background as you want. Personally, I like to choose just a simple color so I don't have any distractions. As you do that, save it as a background pair. Once it's saved, you click on the focus button and choose the focus that we created before. Now, if you turn on the focus modes, the background will also change. Repeat this step for all of the focus modes you created. Now the background is all set up, but to only have a few apps on your screen in each focus mode, you need to create a specific background page or slide, I don't know, for each focus mode. So just create a new background and add the apps and widgets that you want to have in specific focus. If you want to have, let's say, Spotify in more than one focus, you can do that by swiping to the right, find the Spotify and add it on your page. Now that you finish up setting up the pages for each focus modes, you need to link each page to a specific focus. To do that, you need to go to Control Center, long press on the modes, pick the focus modes that you want to add the background to, click three dots on the side and go to settings. Now you can probably see the lock screen is already set up. Now to set up the home screen, you just click choose on the middle window and choose the background that you set up for that specific focus. Okay, and now it's time for the most important part. And that is to set up shortcuts to be able to access focus modes from our home screen. To do that, you need to open shortcuts, go to all shortcuts, click plus, and on the top of the screen, click this kind of arrow symbol and click move. In the move menu, choose add new folder and name it productivity or whatever you want. Now click add action and search for set focus. Now click on the do not disturb and choose the focus. Now turn from off to on. If you want to turn on let's say flight mode while the focus is on, like I have set up at my sleep focus, you can do that just by going at the bottom of the screen and search for the action you want and tweak it to your liking. And now just choose a name and color for the shortcuts. I prefer you put the same name and color as you did when setting up the focus mode. Repeat that for all of the focus modes and arrange them as you like. And now for the final thing, we need to set up shortcuts on our home screen. So go to the home screen that you set up for the focus modes, do a long press and click plus on the top left corner. Search for shortcuts and choose the one that has four options. Now long press it on the widget and click edit and choose the map that you just created. And now repeat that for every background page. And that is it, you're all set. Here we go, now you are ready to start working distraction free, but you still need to know that you are one scroll away from accessing all of the social media apps. For me, it's enough to see just a color of wallpaper to go back to work, because I almost unconsciously, 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 unconsciously go search for the social media apps. And as soon as I see purple color and so little apps on my phone, it wakes me up to go straight back to the work mode. So from now on, it's mental game. It's you versus you. 
and make sure that the side that is better for your future and growth win. Thank you for sticking to the end and see you next time.